Hey. <laughs> hey, Shadi. I'm in a completely new place. I moved, yes, I moved into a brand new townhome. It is gorgeous, I can't wait to show you guys. There's a lot I need to catch you up on because I haven't talked to you guys in about two weeks. We need to kind of do a recap of the move. You guys have borders. You'd be nice. During the move. breaking my no caffeine rule. It's freaking Wendy's iced coffee. <laughs> there is food in the house, but we packed everything to cook. So, and all that's really open because it's Sunday and we're moving today is Wendy's breakfast. So, oh, that's pretty good. And this definitely has a shit ton of carbs in it. More than like on the edge. About to head to the new place. Packed up as much as we could in the U-Haul because a lot of dance stuff is in there. And then my car, suitcases of clothes and my MacBook. I mean my Mac, Big Mac. Not the, not like from McDonald's. Um, this is what we have left. We have to come back and do a massive haul from here of all my big stuff. Couch, all of that. TV, bed, all of that furniture, all of this. One sec, I'm recording some outdoor furniture and then everything here, desk. <laughs> so much shit. I have a place till the 6th though, so I have a lot of time, but I have to get all the big stuff because I already paid for the U-Haul, but. Hardships of the move. I just read through, I'm not sick, I'm just crying, but I just read through one of these. I don't know if you guys had these when you were a kid. Mine is traumatizing. <laughs> traumatizing. I'm like going through and trying to clean out stuff. And I'm like finding a lot of like childhood stuff that for some reason I grabbed. I don't know why I have it. Cause I thought I lot, left a lot of like childhood stuff with my mom when I like moved out a long time ago. But apparently not <laughs> because I'm finding a lot of stuff. Like why do I have a Sudoku book? Why do I have a Sudoku book? I don't understand. It's like the older you get, the more, the older, that you get, the more that you understand why you are the way you are and why you struggle with the things that you struggle with. So the reason why I'm recording this is because if you're someone who is younger, Patoon, she's bathing herself in the camera. If you're someone who is younger and you're like struggling and you don't understand why you feel certain ways, you don't understand why you act certain ways, I promise you that as you get older, it makes so much sense. And as you, if you get therapy, it makes so much sense. It takes time, but it starts to make a lot of sense. And then you can start to like work on those things and be better at those things. I literally just finished therapy and then immediately. <laughs> I just finished therapy and then I immediately found that book. And so, yeah. I don't know. Just know that as you get older, everything makes sense. The actual move. Didn't I do a good job? Yeah. Playing Tetris. Wait, Come here. It's okay, Shalom. Hi, Nanny. Welcome home, Nanny. Okay. Where did Goose go? What oh, is Moose is splowing. Yeah. Moosey. Yeah. Moose, what do you think? So much room for activities. Nanny, what do you think? Love. Love. <laughs> Maybe I'll show you guys the new house. Maybe I won't until uh, I'll do like a whole video on that. I'm not sure because nothing is done in the house yet. Or maybe I'll show you the house and then 
we'll do another video when the house is done. I don't know, I guess you'll see if you're watching this. I found this new little coffee shop, not too far. It's called Slowpoke. So I actually went there yesterday, got an ube latte. It was delicious. I'm gonna go back today, try something different. And um, yeah, we have so much to catch up on. Like so much. Just realize. I forgot to take my glow. We're doing a glow challenge. 60 days, we're on day three and I already almost forgot. I'm vlogging. Nanny, you like your new home? Yeah, you're both. Like your I forgot to take my glove. Day three, I almost forgot already. I know. I just drooled. Nanny, this is not treat. He <laughs> thinks it's treat. This is not treat. This glow. Glow. This one feels inflated. Why does it feel like that? No! Oh! Glow helps skin complexion and hair and nail growth. Um, there's a lot of good benefits, but yeah. So we're doing a 60 day challenge. If you want to join, use the hashtag glow60 and tag me and ghost in it and ghost wellness if you want. Join along. If you want to snag some, code Kalo, save you 20%. The usual. We're just going to use this one right now. Perfect. I'm excited because we can recycle in my new house. I'm so excited. This is the pina colada and this one's really good. They have mango margarita too, but... Pina colada beef. We need to order a garbage can. I ordered a garbage can and then it just didn't, it didn't work. It was one of those eye touch ones and I put batteries in it, everything wouldn't work. So I sent it back. I think our new one's coming today. Mm. Gotta take a picture for Instagram. Huge. Looks great. All right. Now I go get coffee. See me. <laughs> I got this silly rabbit latte. <laughs> it tastes like a freaking Pop-Tart. This literally tastes like a strawberry Pop-Tart. I think I'm obsessed with this place. Slow pokes. Like, slow poke. <laughs> it's cute. In my Amazon package. We get an Amazon package every second at this. This is Dan's computer. Oh God. Having a garage is really nice, but my car is so big. It takes up so much. Me. I'll be right back. I just went in the house and heard talking, and I was like, what's happening? Because Dan's car is not here because he's doing cardio. That boy just left his YouTube videos playing. I cannot. The best part about this new place, one sec. How the f am I going to open this door? I don't know who I think I am. The best part about this place is that, hello Mook, is that we both have our own offices or our own rooms. So it's really nice, especially because we both work from home. So his is all the way downstairs, mine's all the way on the third floor. So we can super like separate work from relationship. And I'm so excited about it because I think this is just gonna help our relationship so much more because we both work from home. We need to have that separate workspace, but not me telling you, like talking to you like you're my therapist. You kind of are. What yeah. the fuck is happening? Causing problems. Is this what boys do? Is this what your guys like boyfriends do? Yeah man, to the break, to the break. Dan, if you're watching this, I know you're mad at me. <laughs> Uh, but this is his office. He just got in a brand new desk. It's kind of messy, but brand new desk, brand new chair. He built that out, I think, yesterday. And then he just got a brand new computer, so he's super excited about that. And then that's my couch that you guys saw at the old place, but we split it up. So it was like six pieces before. Six. Six pieces before, we just put it into a two-piece so he can have it in his office. So it's gonna be this cool, like, gaming dungeon that I'm gonna help him, like, make really, really cool that he loves. His little, like, what do you want to call it? Man cave, shall we say? Like, the boys, the cats, like, Max and... Lofi been hanging out here like it's the man cave, right Max? And then that's my other TV. So I don't want a TV in the bedroom. I don't, I just don't like that personally. So we're going to take my big TV and we're going to put it, I think we're going to hang it up there. So that way, like if he really wants to like bro out or whatever, like sometimes we both just need our own space. He can come in down here and watch his own movie or whatever too. So I think it's going to be really help in regards to like a balance of our work life. Again, here I'm like talking to you like my therapist again. Okay, there you go potty. Okay, this place is a complete mess, but I know you guys are gonna be like, I wanna see a place. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So shut, don't talk about the mess. Once it is fully done, furnished, we love the way it looks, I'm gonna do another video on it. Oh my God, look at these cuties. Are you serious right now? 
Are you kidding me? How? You're not allowed to be that cute. Let me take a picture. So that's Remy and that's Lofi. This is the front door. I'm just gonna show you. Hopefully my neighbors aren't outside. Are you like, this lady's a blogger? Yes. <laughs> Me wearing my house slippers outside. That's our garage. This is the front door. So you walk in. <laughs> walk into the front door. Oh my god. Please move. Oh, safety. This is Dan's office. And then this is the garage. So this is Dan's office. Super dark, super messy. Hello, Rem Scrim. Very much a mess. A vibe. We put those up this morning. And then he got his new computer set up that you guys saw this morning. Wow. Cool, sick dog. And that's his own little back backyard that's his bathroom this actually is a backyard we haven't even gone out there yet but this is our little backyard so we actually have to get a weed whacker because they won't come back and cut this so i need to go on amazon and get a weed whacker let me know like what you guys recommend for weed whackers <laughs> just have to get a small one <laughs> so cute little yard it's literally like super short we have a little tree love her especially when it's like hot and summery out because one we want to get a cold tub and two i want to lay out there and tan also if any of you guys have link ups with cold tub companies please reach out to me because i would love to work with you and then this goes this is this is super messy please don't lift but that's like where the kitty litter area is going to be and this is the garage okay it's pretty stuff you guys saw it earlier the garage we have big recycling bins love her treadmill all my artwork and music upstairs get back in the house oh i gotta turn the light off <laughs> then you go up these stairs, <laughs> so handsome, right? Another set of stairs, outdoor view, little patio, cute little patio. She's so cute, wow, small but perfect. Safety. Then it opens up into the massive living room. This is what I'm excited about. This is a giant hole that goes down to the litter box, which is a mess. And then it actually goes upstairs too. My thought is, you're gonna notice real quick they designed this kind of dumb. Either put an elevator in there or make this extra cl closet spaces in places because there's not a lot of storage here and that's a big problem because I have a lot of shit. It's just a giant gaping hole and when Dan is playing games, I can hear him all the way up on the third floor, especially if he's loud because of this giant hole that goes through the top. We'll figure it out. A dead cat opens up into the living room. Hopefully that doesn't fall because that's not stable. But this is the dining room table that we just got from the dump. Super nice, cute. It has an extra leaf to like really make it longer because I think this is too small for the space in my opinion. This all needs to go up to my office still. Who is she? She has a dining room table. That's what grown-ups have, so that's good. This is the kitchen. <laughs> This counter, this island is so big, you could fit like 10 people on it, honestly. Huge kitchen, best part in my opinion. I forgot to mention this place is brand new. So for the first people who have ever lived in it, you can tell, I'll tell you that. Nice little microwave, oven. You know, we have to have the air fryer, gas stove. So going from electric for years to a gas stove again is kind of a struggle. One, it sucks to have an additional payment per month, but two, gas, I thought it was faster to cook, but in my opinion, it's been taking longer to cook. Not really sure. That's nice, little vents, cute little light. Ooh, cute. All this, nice brand new dishwasher. Thanks for the towels, mom. Disgusting. Me and dad go through so many dishes, it's ridiculous. We start the dishwasher in the morning, and then at night because of how many dishes we go through. Love that. No pantry, so all of these are basically for like food and etc. All of this is just supplements. All Hydro Jug and Ghost. Lovely. Nice cute little fridge, but this fridge is actually pretty small. Yeah, we have to go grocery shopping because we ate all our food the past three days. Pretty small, but it works. Uh, we're gonna hang this TV actually up so you'll see that. We're gonna get a little cat hotel. We're gonna put that probably in that corner. This is the rug for my old place as you guys see. And then this is our new couch. So let me show you. Okay, so this is the new couch. There's this only three pieces in. We're actually missing two pieces and two of the pieces are like armless pieces. So one of those will go, so this will move and then an armless piece will go here and then this will move and an armless piece will go here. So it's gonna be like a giant L. We have to move it. I think you guys are crooked. We have to move it, but it's so big. It's so, like you fall into it. Like it is so comfy. And I got it for a steal, like a legit steal. Like it's almost like the cloud couch from Restoration Hardware, but 
just a different material. So love her so much. Like actually obsessed with her. Energy drink fridge stacked to the brim. This is my little like coffee area that is very much under construction. Okay. So that's the whole second floor, which has a bathroom as well. So there's a cute little bathroom in here too. Up the next flight of stairs to the third floor. And things, again, things in this house that weren't thought of, like why is this behind the railing? Like, like what, are you, what are you doing? And a lot of the light switches don't make sense where they're at, like in any way, shape or form. It was like someone just jumbled up the cords and was like, all right, it's good. You know what I mean? So more stairs. This is my favorite view of the house right here. Love it. Sometimes I just sit, I just like to sit there. The giant hole all the way down to the first floor. That should have just been an elevator. Now we're on the third floor. Okay. Third floor, you come up. Laundry room. I hate top and bottom loaded washer dryer so much, but it is what it is. They're brand new, but I think they, I don't like them, but whatever it is what it is. Then we have my office, which is actually totally under construction right now because I need to get a chair. I need to figure out if I want a new desk. Like there's so much I have to do in here and I want to do in here. So we'll figure it out eventually. I'm gonna make this like a really cool wall. I have these textured things coming in today. So that's gonna be a cool wall. Then I'm gonna get a really cute like couch or giant beanbag chair to go here. It was like chill vibes. Like I'm thinking if, if I can put a like a couch here and then have like a cool wall and like put like a light or something on here. Like I'm sitting on the couch right now. This would be cute for like podcasts, right? Because I do wanna do a podcast this year that's on my list. I don't know, you know? Let me know what you think. What do you think? This is the other side. Look at that beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I just ordered a shelf, so I have to slide this desk over. I ordered a shelf. It'll be like a huge five-tier shelf here to put my camera equipment, etc. And then it goes into a bathroom, which is cute. Got some stuff for it already. She's cute. Thanks, Mom and Izzy, for these cute little things. Love that. Another big closet. This would be more like going out clothes. Yes, I need like look at all those clothes. I don't even want to look at it. I don't even want to deal with it. Nope, we're gonna keep moving on. Cute shower, bathroom. I like it, especially if we have guests or it's just nice for me to have my own bathroom off my office so I don't have to always leave my office to go to the bathroom, you know what I mean? So that's my office and the last bedroom in the house, this house, this townhome is three bedrooms, three and a half baths, I think, yeah. This is our master bedroom. Again, a super big mess. I know my mattress is still on the floor eventually, I will get it lifted, shut the up. Best part about this place is there is so many giant windows and so much natural light. That is the number one thing I've always wanted going into my next place that I moved into. So love the natural light in here. It is just the best thing ever. And it's so much easier waking up. Like, I just love it. Then it goes into one of my favorite parts is, I'm out of breath. Breath or breath, you know, not sure. This is our like spa inspired bathroom. So you have my whole side of the bathroom. Cute, love her. Then you have Dan's side, which is, you know, manly and stuff. Then we have our bat little toilet in there. And then we have a double, I don't know why he keeps putting that there, like that, like that. You know, we gotta reteach each other how we live with each other, we're learning. But this is our like double head, freaking sh double head shower, which is so nice. So this is my side, that's his side. I'm literally obsessed with, again, all the natural light, but the ability to have a ginormous shower and not always be up on each other, like I love that. Then my master freaking closet. Look at this baby. Shalom! They haven't seen you yet. Hello. Hello, Shalom. Bye. This is my master <laughs> massive ass closet, but you guys know I need it. It is already almost full. Ridiculous. All of like my jogger, whatever there, sweatpants, t-shirts, hoodies, sports bras, leggings, t-shirts, shoes, shorts socks bra underwear crazy right still think i need more space personally but it is what it is that's why i have two massive closets i know what you're thinking why doesn't dan have any clothes up here dan has all his clothes actually in his office downstairs that's just what he wants so i said okay that's fine i will take this closet fully oh my god i am like genuinely out of breath i haven't done cardio in 11 or 12 weeks because i haven't been allowed to but let's update on that really quick that last clip was literally 15 minutes long of me running around the house talking to you guys so that's crazy okay so yeah, that's basically it. Updates on me, looking like prep is gonna start probably August, relax. Probably April, eight, April? 
I need to eat. <laughs> April 18th, and um, yeah, that's when I get back from Tampa. So I will be leaving for Tampa on the 14th, I think, and then I'll be there for the 17th. If any of you guys live in Tampa, please come out and say hi to me at Summer Shredding. I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to go out and just be with the Alphalete team, but also to see and meet so many of you guys. I'm really, really excited about that. Come right back, prep starts. Blood work did come back basically better but it there was still issues with it like it still could have been better so that's why we took an additional four weeks before starting prep so everything all my markers should be back and feeling pretty good by then still training only four times a week calories at about 2300 and no cardio steps are at about six six k that's all she wrote that's the update on me um in the next video we can dive deeper into updates and again show you guys more of this like townhome journey because there's so much i need to get so much I wanna do, so much money I'm spending. <laughs> There's a lot happening this year, like so much and so many dates I'm starting to finalize with my own company as well as other companies that I'm working with and I'm really, really excited. So you guys better be excited You better be excited for this year. But that's it, I hopefully you guys are excited that I'm back. I know I took two weeks off, but I really just needed it. This whole period has been so like anxiety driven with moving and not being able to control everything. So as I always say, control controllable. That's basically it. I love you guys so much. I'm so happy to be back. I'm feeling good to be back. I have a new environment to be back. I'm inspired. I'm just feeling great. But yeah, we're, oh, watch your nails. We are just, ex oh my gosh, we're just excited to be in our new place, right, Shilu? Yes. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Like I said, believe in yourself. There's cat forever. It's half a damn battle and control controllable. Goodbye. Now I gotta finish editing this. Yeah, I got a lot of other work to do. Um, okay. Love you. Bye.